Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Well, it's a little chilly, not too foggy though. No, it's not bad today. It's too bad. All right, well, let's go in there. Spend a couple hundred bucks on tackle. Yeah, might as well. Why not? Oh, thank you very much, sir. Good morning. Good, how are you? Good. We are here for the benefit tournament. What are we gonna catch him on? What's the winning bait? You know, you can throw a little bit of anything right now. I would stick with your confidence. Stick with confidence? Put your baits where they belong at the right time. Yep. To catch more fish, I would be throwing an underspin or a crankbait. Got an underspin tied on and a crankbait. Shed style baits, I take it? Yeah. More rain next week. Um, I just feel like it's one a very underrated bait, yeah. the, the four inch one. It's a bait fish profile, but it's bigger. When all these fish are chasing the bait, they don't, they're tired of eating that little half inch, inch and a half bait. So this, this size? Yeah. What a hook. Trout. All right, very cool. I'm down to try it. That's great. That was my big fish bait yesterday. Oh, that one? Glider. Um, can I also do the uh, muscle stickers, please? Yeah. Thanks. It's a cool shop you got here, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you ready, man? Yeah. Let's All right, go. let's go. Thanks, man. Appreciate okay, it. Day, guys. You too. I'm gonna forget if I don't throw these on now. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, Mr. Dutcher. Good morning. Skinny Dutch. We went over this at Berryessa. Transformation, man. How'd you do it? Keto. Keto? Keto and exercise. Right on. Anywho, we are at Clear Lake. Clear Lake, California for, you know, and I keep saying this, I told you tournament season was over, but we're here for another tournament. It is a tournament, but it's more of a, like a benefit, right? Yeah. More of a fun thing. Food allergies. Kids with food allergies. And uh, a young man that uh, kayak fish has actually put it on. So uh, today's Friday. Got here this morning. Got some tackle. Got our muscle stickers. And now we're hitting the water to, I say practice, but really just go out and fish. Go and whack on some fish, hopefully. Dutch, you've been fishing the past couple of days, right? It's been tough for me the last two days. Pretty foggy right now. Seeing a lot of bird shallow, some a little bait shallow. Beautiful conditions. Just feels feels good. You know what I'm saying? You know that when you when you get to the to the ramp when you're about to launch that that good positive feeling. I got that right now. You got that at all? Oh yeah. That is today's video, guys. We're gonna be pre-fishing. We got an Airbnb later tonight. Then we'll uh, fish the tournament tomorrow morning. So hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get out on the water. Oh, look at them go. Look at him go. <laughs> See that island? We're gonna go there and either go to the left or the right because it was actually where I fished last tournament and did really good, but let's go there then. All right, guys, well, what do we start with? What bait do we start with? I think it's gotta be top water. You can see, we've got a lot of baits. I know they're all in their cases right now, but we've got top water, crankbait, underspin, lipless, drop shot, jerk bait, and then we got an A-rig, so. We gotta go top water first. It's just kind of what you do at Clear Lake is you start with the top water in the morning. Who would have guessed which it'll be? Already seeing some activity. Let's hope they're biting today. A million fish out here. It looks like there's a ton of fish out here, but I don't know if those are bass. right behind us.
You crushing them? One. What'd you catch it on? I'm seeing fish like in the 15 to 20 foot range. You go lipless or? All right, I'll throw a spinner bait then. We gotta figure these fish out, man. We'll run into them eventually. dock right here. Dutch just caught one off a dock. Bait very similar to this. There's bird shallow, there's bait shallow. There's got to be a bass on this dock. Oh dang, look at all that bait up here. Look, oh there's a turtle chasing it and everything. Oh no, those are the birds chasing it. Dude, holy smokes, that bait was up shallow. All those birds were like chasing tons of bait up in these rocks. These fish are probably either really shallow or really deep. Any more? Not another bite? No, not another bite. Hey, at least you got two. I don't know how to catch a fish. It's to the point where I don't even believe they're fish in this lake, you know? I've seen so much bait, but I haven't seen anything streaking through it, really. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do or say. Or... <laughs> you don't know what to do or say. I feel totally inadequate. <laughs> you feel inadequate? Well, so do I. If I skunk it clear, like, that means, that means bad things. Oh, I can almost grab that. Oh, I almost grabbed the bait. Dude, there's tons of bait here. Dutcher's on. You got a catfish. All right, Dutch is hooked up. Hooked up with a double digit. Underspin? Oh my God, dude, that is huge. Oh my God. Oh, oh that's my definitely God. a DD, boy. DD. Oh man, that's a big fish. That's a big catfish. There we go. Dude, that thing's got a belly. It's a big one. All right. Get rid of this slimy thing. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't you know. Dutch, it's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Minus the Christmas. <laughs> I don't have a net and I caught it on a crankbait. It's a good one too. It's like a four pounder, I'd say. Come here, Sonny. Come here. I need you in my life. He's tired out. Here we go. Thank you, medium diver. Medium diver? Oh, no skunk. Thank you. It just took, well, actually, I can tell by the back. It's uh, six hours. Well, it's a good one. It makes it worth it. I don't know if it, <laughs> I think a 10 pounder would have been worth it, but it probably means something. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. This guy right here. It's a Fritz Side 7, five to seven foot diver. 
little tiny shad pattern. I've been cranking today, but nothing really this depth. There we go. Cranker. I'm a crankbaiter. Oh yeah, maybe even bigger. Oh. Woohoo, number two. Alrighty. Yeah, like a two and a half actually. Man. Old Fritz side seven. Very cool. That was like the first like two cranks as soon as that bait hit. And that was out in deeper water. These fish are definitely just like moving and grooving around here, chasing bait. I don't think they're hunkered down to the bottom. I don't think they're up shallow or too deep. They're just moving around eating bait from what I gather. I don't know. Oh yeah, big shad. Some actual grass over here. Oh God. Oh. Oh, it's a big one. He's got one hook in him. Oh, it's a big, big one. He got one treble in him, dude. I know, everybody yell at me for not bringing my net. Dang it, he came off. I had one treble in him, dude. <sighs> I know he came right out of this grass and popped this bait. That was fun though, he smashed this thing. I'm, a <laughs> I'm bringing the net tomorrow, people. Don't worry, tournament day, I'm bringing the net. I just don't, I don't know. I like having clean space up here for some weird reason, it makes no sense. <sighs> There's a bajillion little tiny bait. I mean, you can, and the screen all day is look like that. Just completely choking the bottom of this lake. And it's not just shallow too. It's like out in the middle. Actually even thicker out in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> that was the exact same cast you made. You're trying to poach my fish, Dutch. Trying to. There was one there. It's not a little, little, but. Well, we're on to something. I think so. <laughs> I think I gave all the money. Shine Glide. You want to borrow my other one? You sure? I'll give it to you, I promise. It's okay. I don't think, I've got 20 pound test on this. I don't really think this is gonna break off anytime soon. <laughs> that was so funny. This is like right after you made that cast. You like spooked the fish into biting. Dude, this is how the professionals do it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, there's so many tires over here. I'm seeing so many tires on my side imaging. What's up with that? Oh! Really? Sure you don't want that other one? <laughs> you want to tie it on for the night and give it back to me later? Skinny one. They're here though, Dutch. I can see them on the graph now. There's like a bunch of them streaking right underneath me. You want the other one? For tonight, at least. Oh, smoked. It's on, dude. Dude, this bite's on.
Okay, long day, dude. It was a very long day, but it ended up being worth it. What time is it? Five? About five o'clock, I think. We're, 5 one We're out there for like nine hours. As I've mentioned before, it's kind of hard to portray in the video everything that happened, but we covered a lot of water. We crossed the lake, we crossed back over, we went around the island, the points, tried a ton of stuff. I mean, you actually got on some fish early. You caught a couple on the underspin. I didn't get a bite until three o'clock. Probably three o'clock, yeah. Yeah, but the bite was a medium diving crankbait and caught another one. So I don't know, I think the, the thing is these fish were more suspended cruising around and we picked up the glide, the old shine glide. That's what did our damage. It worked, it worked really well. You caught a nice one on it. I was surprised. Yeah, usually the glide baits for me at least, they just follow it and then you just look at the fish and then they scoot away, but today they're actually eating it. So kind of ended on a, on a positive note. Hopefully tomorrow it's a pattern that we can uh, expand on or continue with. It's a fun bite and you know the big ones will bite that too. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun this afternoon. That is practice day. I'm going to head to the Airbnb, relax, grab some food, grab some beer. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the tournament. Cue the B-roll. Here we go, folks. Tournament time. I think we'll be gliding and cranking all day. Based on yesterday's pre-fish, that's what we should be doing. Look, I brought the net today, too. Folks. Definitely seeing fish here. These are bass, I believe. Might be a little closer to the bottom though today. It's a lot cooler. So maybe these fish have kind of hunkered down a little bit more. 1038 guys, it has been tough as it can be. Not a single bite yet. These fish may have changed. This is the exact same spot we were at yesterday where we caught them on the crankbait and the, and the glide. There we go, finally got one. Oh, it's a fatty too. Oops. 
Oh no! That was a nice one. Well, at least it's a bite. Gosh, dang it. There we go. Oh, all right, we found a little something. I found a little something. Okay, I know you're gonna jump, just do it. Get it over with. Oh, another fat one. Come here. All right, not that big. Yeah, big enough though, we'll take them. 1041, finally got a fish in the boat. It's two bites pretty quick though. Oh well. Hey, we get to measure one today. Oh, fish number one. Let's keep her moving. Your bass right there. Right there. Shoot. Definitely bass. There we go. Come on, be a big one. Oh, yeah. Come here, sir. Oh, yeah. There we are. We can wedge this thing in his mouth. Crankbait's wedged in his mouth. <laughs> oh, that's a long one. Not very big, but he's long. Yeah, it's a good kayak bass right here. Nice and long. 1875, number two. Let's keep cranking. There we go. Oh, no, number three. Ooh, you're pulling. Another nice one. Easy, easy tiger. Alrighty, number three. Thank you, sir. Cranking. It's been a while since we got on a crankbait bite. Whew, he's feisty. Ah, uh, number three. Uh-oh, that ain't good. It's definitely stuck pretty good. This could be trouble, guys. Oh no. What are we stuck on down there? Line, maybe? Huge bummer right there, guys. We got one more of those crankbaits, and it's the only other one that's that depth. Dang it, can't lose this one. Can't lose this one, or else we'll be throwing the, the shine glide the rest of the day. What the heck? Oh my gosh. That might be the smallest bass in Clear Lake. Finally. Oh, and I need you, number four. Look. 
Okay, number four, thank you. That feels good. Now at least if I lose the crankbait, I only have to catch one more on a, on a different bait. Good, relax the towel, please. Number four. Number five. Head shaker. Yeah, number five. Sweet. It's a decent one. Alrighty. That feels real good getting that limit on the bait that seemingly is the only thing that'll work for me today. Oh, dude, that was close. You almost shook a hook in my hand, fella. Dude, nice one. Look at, th look at that one. It's gotta be a nice 16 and a half -er, I'd say. Maybe a little better. Whew. Limit feels really good. There's a limit, 1219. Two hours left to fish. Definitely grateful for a limit, given especially how tough it's been overall today. I knew there were fish in this area, just uh, had to get them to get them to bite. There we go. That feels big. It's not that big. I don't know what I need to even call. Well, it's gonna call, but I don't know what. Yeah, this one's a really fat one. I don't even know, that might not call. I think I know what I need to call, but I don't. Um, looks like our first fish was only 14 and a half. Oh yeah, a little bit of a call. Nice. So what do I need to call now? 15 and a quarter is what we need to call next. Come on now, we need the kicker fish. We need that 19, 20 inch fish. I know there's one down there somewhere. As soon as I stood up, I was thinking maybe I need to stand up to change my luck. Guess it worked. That could be a kicker. That could be. That could be. That could be. He's fighting like a big one. He's fighting like a big one. Premature. Oh, just fall hooked. Dang it. Oh man, I thought he was the one. Mm, I don't think this will call a 15 and a quarter. It might, yeah. Oh, it does. Man, I'm not thinking straight. Just got these big old tails on him. Did not think that was a 16. I gotta get rid of my 15 and a half. There we go. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, nope. There, it's not gonna call. At least they're still biting. Honestly, just beating this little 200 yard stretch to death, going up and down, getting lucky every once in a while.
There we go. There's a call. Choke that one. He definitely wanted that crankbait. Seventeener, take her. Good little color right there. There we go, dude. It seems like the bite has actually gotten better as the afternoon has come along. That could be a big one. That might be a big one. I know I've said that every time. But as long as this one's not foul hooked, I mean that one's pulling. Uh... Oh god, it's a big one. That actually is a big one. That's our kicker right there. Oh god, don't get too excited. There we go. Beautiful. Oh man, bleeding a little bit. Probably second big fish of the day. Oh, he's bleeding. Nice. Man, we got a fair bag going on right now. These fish are up shallow now. They've moved shallower as the day day's going on. It's got warm a little warmer. Well, we got about 10 minutes left before we need to start making our way back. Let's uh throw the Hail Mary, throw the glide bait. Last 10. See if we can't get that kicker. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the tournament is officially over. It was a really fun day. Fun day out on Clear Lake, you know, it was pretty tough to start. They were very picky, at least for me, and the only thing we could get bit on today was a crankbait through that little Fritz side seven. Cranking fish today, always a fun way to catch them. But more importantly, the tournament itself was a benefit tournament. The young man that put it on, he kind of organized it himself. His name's Dean. He actually has a YouTube channel as well. And uh, he, yeah, he and his family put this tournament on. It was extremely well run. The sponsors he had involved for a lot of these raffle prizes, donations, food at the end, everything was smooth sailing the entire day. So hats off to Dean and his family for uh, putting this event on and giving us all an excuse to come to Clear Lake. Check out Dean's channel. I'm going to link his YouTube channel in the description below. So go give him a sub and follow his adventures because the kid's definitely doing some cool stuff. Yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the video, the trip, the weekend here at Clear lake always a good time the bite seems to change every time we come here which is isn't a bad thing man fun fun time and as always i thank you guys for watching we'll see you later